All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Kind of like the old uh, song goes. All right. So we went to the local store. Technically, it's called Home Depot. And I'm not sponsored by them or this company or any other company. Um, not sponsored by them. I'd love to be. Not sponsored by them. Sure would love to be. I'm not sponsored by them, but I sure would love to be. And the list goes on and on. And the list goes on and on. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, so we have ourselves a what we call quattro by quattro or four by four. I know it's not a truck. I got it marked every two feet. Right there, and we're basically still in the in the uh, setup phase, I guess you'd call it. So, yay, fun! So you see, there's a board there, there's a board there, there's a board there, and the, there's a board back over there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So I can move this. We see this is the concrete where it ends or starts or ends, however. I could move this a little closer in theory, right? Bring it closer. So then that would put a little bit more room over here. That would move it over a little bit. So it'd be like that or something. So at least I know if anything's back there, I can get it out. Whatever, a critter, uh, whatever. Or, or, do I go all the way to the, ugh, do I just take it all the way to the wall? All the way to the back. So it has that little bit of extra support. The, the support of the actual frame of my beautiful little chicken coop there, as you see. My coupe. My coupe. Handmade, handcrafted. That's right. Certified. Oh, yeah. Not too shabby. It works. All right. So, I think it'd be stronger if it went against this thing, right? How much stronger that is. And since it's hollow or open on the inside, I could just screw right through it, right? And just with the gun and just drill right through it to put the screws into it from the other side. That would truly technically work. And then if anything, it would move this a little bit more that way, a few inches. Give it more room there. Nothing wrong with that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Anyways, everybody. So, yeah. This is our part three of our summertime. Springtime? Summertime? Springtime? Whatever. Um, vegetable garden. Raised garden. Raised vegetable garden. Outdoor Something or other, something or other, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean. Repurpose material, DIY project. You can do it. As far as the material goes, all of this was free. This was given to me by a friend. So thank you. Big shout out to that guy. Much love. This I purchased. I purchased this. A long time ago. A long time it's been a few years let's just put it that way and I got a good piece so thankfully it hasn't warped so it's actually in really great condition all right so that was like I don't know I don't know three years ago or so something like that <coughs> something like that I don't know those go for about what 10 20 bucks in the store um, 
Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to use treated wood, but I was thinking if I just use it in just the corners, hmm, maybe I can get away with it. I don't know, whatever. Um, so that's basically what I was thinking about using. And then these are gonna be my bad boys here to secure everything together. What we're basically going after is, those will be the ends, those will be the ends, and basically the centers. And then so what I was thinking with the four by fours, I would just cut them to big, like, blocks. You know, not blocks, but you know, the two foot lengths. And then I could just screw into them like that. Screw in there, screw in there, like that, right? And then from there, I have some more material where I could put some more 4x4s on the inside. Like, just regular. I'm not as good as all those other, like, professional drawers. So, you know, forgive me for um, trying. Whatever. Um, so basically, you get the point. So at least there's some support in here. Or should I put these over here on this side? So that way, because I know that over time, these are going to want to push out. I've seen it before where they, these centers, they want to go, the sand, the dirt, and the pressure, it wants to push everything out. It's going to expand it. It's going to want to, like, push this out as the, as the dirt settles. That's just what's going to happen over time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mother Nature, yeah, stuff happens, yeah. All right, so basically, not on the inside. <clears throat> Yay, artsy fartsy. Um, Hazel Eyed Finds, eat your heart out. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at me with an old eraser. This thing's like 100 years old, it's like all dried out, crusty. Oh, yeah, certified. All right, so we'll put it there, put it there. Mm. These ones, I guess they're fine there. Um, yeah, yay, fun. Alright, moving right along. So that's kind of like a basic idea. Sure, I would prefer maybe like some kind of support out here. Some kind of something. I'm thinking like, hmm some kind of like an end cap or something I don't know basically so that I know that these stay locked in there I mean I'm gonna build this thing stronger than the material itself uh, wait wait some of the material some like these these are clearly clearly gonna last they're gonna last a long time exterior tornillo para exterior dilio that's my spangler duchy so yeah Fun, fun, fun. And definitely going to enjoy this little project here. So I just move all this stuff aside, put my soda in the sun so it gets nice and hot, nice and warmed up. Beautiful. Okay. Plug in just so I make sure that we have a good battery that stays fully charged and doesn't die out last time like it did last time. Alrighty, fun, fun, fun. So, bear with me as I set this up. Also, not sponsored by them, wish I was. A big shout out to them. And hey, a big shout out to them. That's right, delicious. Hey, animal fries, man, animal fries. Go check them out. Tell them. Tell them Tony's Hobby Channel sent you. I'm just kidding. I don't get paid from that. Just kidding. 
That's right. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we're going to do here, since we know we're cutting a 4x4, four four, bring this bad boy up. Straighten this out because it looks like it's a little crooked there. Here I go. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to run and grab some mail real quick. All right, so that's, that looks pretty straight. We're good there. That's brought all the way up. That's locked in, nice and secure. All right, we know we're unplugged as of right now. We're not gonna go cutting ourselves or hurting anybody. Alright, so always practice safety first and then accident second. Alright, so we got ourselves safety glasses. I'm gonna put those on right now, everybody. Everybody put on your safety glasses, alright, here we go everybody. So, let's see, how are we going to do this? We're going to do this the easy way. So easy. Give me something easy. That's right. All right we got ourselves some lines drawn right there. Okay. Right there, nice and simple. Yeah, should work, hopefully. Hopefully nobody ends up in the ER room. Everybody practice safety first, please. I, myself, or YouTube are not responsible for anybody that accidentally injures themselves. So please practice 100% safety. Go slow. Be careful. Use caution. Use glasses. Be safe. Yada, 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 yada. You know what I mean. Okay. So right now we are centered. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna run that one through first, and go from there. Yay, fun. Okay. Switch the battery, the power source over. We're now going live, everybody, live. All right, everybody. So hurry up, uh, fast forward to. Uh, 15 minutes if you want to see the actual cutting that's right 
Here we go. In three, this is my power switch. Three, two, one. Here we go. fun so always be careful with that final cut there and of course we're gonna have to do that again a few more times What is the length? Let's double check something here. I want to make these a little taller is what I'm thinking all of a sudden. No, because then I have not enough material. Alright. I got all my fingers, I got all my thumbs, all my toes. I'm good. I'm good, mom and dad, we're good. All right. All right. Everybody be careful when using these types of equipment items. All right, no blood, we're good. Got all my, all my fingers. All right, so here's what we're looking at. Well, isn't that nice? Doesn't that always happen? Why does that always happen to me? Because I never measure correctly. This one's longer, just a little bit. I didn't measure it in half first. I should have measured it in half first, and then from there, split those halves in half. I didn't. I measured from one side all the way to the other. So clearly, that's why. That's why that's like that. So that's a failure, you, you suck. Go back to the drawing board. All right, anyways. Moving right along. Moving right along, everybody.
crazy bird. That's right. All right, everybody. That's organic. Sorry, I'm not going organic. Using a little bit of treated treated lumber. I'm gonna get a little bit of strychnine. Action going on. <gasps> switch out of there. Get my soda right out of the sun. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I gotta get a... Sorry about that, had the camera pointed too far down. My bad. All right.
basically that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do just like that all the way around everything. As you can see, we have just to do. Just in case if you guys are wondering if this if this soil is any good or not, you let me know. You let me know what you think. Let me know if I got a good soil or bad soil. Cause I think I think what I've got is I think I got worms. Which means I got good soil. Look at all these babies. Look at all them beauties. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Anybody hungry for lunch? Look at that. Look at them. Big old, big old wormies. Look at these guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look, he's like, hi, I'm hiding. Look at this guy. Big old monster. Okay, he's not, not huge. I'm just kidding. But hey, good worms. Alright, awesome. Good times. Worm casting's over here. Alright. Get it plugged back in. Make sure we got good battery. Okay. Start.
sorry about that everybody yes I'm leaving that extra extra top I'm gonna end up using that to my benefit hopefully we'll see but yes I'm gonna leave that on there for now
until you see it. Give it a little extra oomph. <sighs> Get a little bit more ammo. There we go, we're running, running three inch rounds, baby. What do you want to call it? Kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so this is basically what we're looking at here. Apologize for the extremely terrible camera angles. Basically, this is this is what I'm thinking. All right, and then I have plenty of soil. I can fill all this in, put it all up, and at the very end, 
as I'm working, as I'm finishing up, I'll, I'll put the final end piece right there. But, so basically, but and so, but and so, so and but. This is the back support for there. And I figure all of that back wall will be able to support once the stuff is in there, it'll push it out. I've got a small little gap back here. I was thinking I can move that out. You know, I got a little OCD going on over here. I want to at least make sure it looks good and limit the amount of room that's back there so nothing can get back there, basically. And then, tomorrow we have one of these projects because I just got just got a bunch of big old shipment of stuff right here. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Everybody be safe and whatever it is you're drinking. Consume with caution or whatever. All right, so basically this is roughly, this is roughly, roughly kind of sort of it. What I'm also planning on doing is something along the lines of, something along the lines of that. When it's all said and done, you'll see it'll have some bit of reinforcement there um, and I think those are gonna be longer I'm not gonna use a two-foot one I'm just showing that as an example bunny ears example example and then what I'll probably use in its place oh look at there beautiful beautiful yerba buena I'll probably use this one it's kind of sort of in good condition the four by four, quattro by quattro. So I'll just cut this bad boy in half. And then I put half there and half there, basically. All right, everybody. So I think that's kind of rounding up, rounding, rounding, uh, rounding down, whatever you call that word. All right, guys. Take care. Uh, I will post a f some photos or some videos later on uh, of the progression of the progress. So that's basically it. That's kind of my my idea in my little brains. All right, you guys take care. Best regards. Thank you to YouTube very much for providing a platform where everybody can do these types of things and get together and have a positive and respectful community um, 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 everybody please check out my eBay channel I apologize for taking you away from my YouTube platform but um, yeah check out my eBay channel same name Tony's hobby channel and then also hazel eyed finds check out her ebay channel and her youtube channel as well big shout out to john smith uh kevin hart kevin talbot sean cannell think media um david carlisle neferson jickle uh did i say john smith john smith whatever um 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 um, um the stacking kid Yo, stacking kid, you're the man. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Bella's Bella's coin hunt. Go check out Bella's coin hunt. Trying to help her get to a, a, a million subscribers, whatever you know. Um, and yeah, all right, you guys take care. I'm out. Tony Salva channel. Peace. Guys, take care. Best regards.